everyone, Matthew Marister here again, and today I have a leather holster. I almost never do leather holsters. I can't remember the last leather holster I did, but this is a good one. Um, this is from MTR Custom Leather, okay? Um, they do some really, really good work with leather, as you can probably tell from the name Custom Leather. They truly are a custom leather holster company. Um, and the um, leather worker over there, uh, you know, Matt Rector guy is a leather genius, I guess, um, for lack of a better term. Uh, he does some really good work with leather. Uh, I have their dual carry or dual purpose holster right here. Um, now, this is a really cool holster. I, I love it. Uh, it's all leather. And as you can see, it is... It's, um, it's very, very sturdy. It's formed really well. I mean, you can even see the markings where, um, you know, where they formed it around the gun. But the cool thing about this holster, now I have it set up for, uh, to be worn outside the waistband. This holster can be worn outside the waistband or inside the waistband. So not only do I normally do inside the waistband, um, I'm doing an outside the waistband holster and it's a leather. So that's kind of unique for me. Um, but so this is their dual carrier, dual purpose holster. The way it works is you can see it right here. It has slots cut in it so you can run your belt through it um, and wear it on the outside of your waistband, okay? You could also attach clips and wear it inside the waistband like your typical, you know, dual clip inside the waistband holster. Um, what's really cool is not only uh, do they make really awesome holsters, real good um, quality, but you can truly customize it. You can pick the, the color of the leather, the type of the leather, the type of clips you want. Um, you know, do you want ulti clip? Do you want the plastic clip? Do you want a, a metal clip? You know, you can really customize it the way you want. But I just wanted to show you how well this thing is made. Now, this is my Glock 27, nothing in the chamber and nothing in the magazine well. But this thing fits in there beautifully. I mean, it's like a glove. And when I wore this, when I, I, the reason why I like wearing this, and I, and if you follow a lot of my videos or in holster reviews and things like that, I almost exclusively carry appendix style. I hardly ever carry it outside the waistband. Um, when I do, it's on my strong side hip. This holster is so slim line so such a pancake type holster um and the curve you can see the curve right there is perfect and it sucks up so close to your body that you can actually i, I can conceal i've con I, i've been concealing with this holster outside the waistband with just a t-shirt and you know not now the glock 27 isn't a huge gun but you know um it's still you know, more difficult to carry a uh, conceal outside the waistband than inside the waistband and no issues with this. I mean, that's why I really, really like this holster. Um, very, very comfortable um, and very, very good quality. I mean, you can see the stitching. Uh, you could get double stitching. This is single stitching, okay? But they, you can get holsters with double stitching. I mean, really, really customize it. Really, really knock it out of the ballpark. And the holsters, um, obviously, if you're buying a leather holster, especially a custom holster, um, you're going to pay a little bit more than, you know, your, ni your uh, nylon holsters, obviously, but your Kydex holsters. Um, but, you know, MTR, custom leather, excuse me, is, um, you know, they're very well reasonably priced for leather holsters and that's one thing that turns some people off from leather holsters is that they're so expensive right um but very reasonable and you know i, I will i, I do want to mention this that in their holster in their um holsters they do send you some nice um material on how to care for the holster um you know if you're going to invest in a holster a leather holster that's a little bit more expensive you need to know how to care for it 
Um, and if you don't holster, you don't care for your leather holster, you can run into some issues down the road. They're not going to last forever or as long as they would if you cared for it correctly. And after reading the, the literature, um, I was actually surprised because I thought I knew, you know, hey, you, you know, you rub some oil in there and you take care of it. Now, there's there's actually some things you do want to do to leather and don't want to do. And, and they provide that literature. And, and that, that's pretty cool to me. I mean, that that, you know, sometimes when you're looking at companies and they make similar products and it's hard to say this product is much better or you know not at all any better they're pretty much a wash the little things about customer service ease of shopping getting that you know holster out to you or that product out to you shipping out quickly and providing material on you know how to care for it um it 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 makes that it makes you want to go to that company and mtr Custom leather is definitely a company like that. I mean, that that's stuff that shines to me and stands out to me as, as a good company. So, um, like I said, this is the dual carry holster from MTR Leather. Um, inside the waistband and outside the waistband option. I have it set up outside the waistband because it, it conceals so well um, on my strong side hip. So, MTR Custom Leather. Um, check them out, mtrcustomleather.com. changed my grip dramatically. But he could still have it in his car anyway. What happens is you, you memorize that position. Awesome experience working with each one of these guys.